the United States government using electronic torture to mimic mental illness. In covered real-life experiments on American citizens, which of course the, the United States government denies, the, the United States government has been experimenting with manners in which to mimic mental illness in people for decades. The, the United States government has been using highly sophisticated space-age satellite technology for these experiments on citizens, without their consent, of the same nature which is used on hostile, heavily armed enemy forces and terrorists. Therefore, it is no surprise that more and more citizens have manifested emotions of hate in dealing with their own country, which the, the United States government insists are symptoms of mental illness, when in fact such intense emotions of hate are to be anticipated in any normal people directed against any forces which torture them. The CIA and FBI have clearly felt over the years that allegations of mental illness are the most effective manner in which to neutralize the presence of perfectly sane radicals who are primarily poor on the planet and so they have invested heavily in covered experiments on the public aimed at mimicking mental illness in people. The like-minded diabolically insane American psychiatrists have supported this tyranny all along. In fact a primary criteria for the United States government support of chairmans of academic psychiatry departments and psychiatry residency training directors across the United States is that they blindly accept the United States government covered policies of using psychiatry to manipulate the public with torture. Threats of withdrawals of the United States government funding for university medical centers are made if rebellious staff members are not pushed out of their jobs. Initially kidnappings to the mental hospitals which are actually no different than political concentration camps, the highly toxic arsenal of psychiatric drugs, beatings, rapes, isolation chambers, psychosurgery, and swift, fixed civil court orders for psychiatric intervention used to legalize this barbarism were the primary arsenal of weapons used by the, the United States government and psychiatrists against the random targets of this the United States government-styled tyranny. In more recent years satellite transmitted electronic torture has also become a part of the arsenal of madness of the U.S. psychiatric torture and killing machine. Sadistic The United States federal agents are paid huge salaries to sit behind computers which direct satellite transmitted electromagnetic waves into the brains of anyone in the country or overseas at any time. The technology behind this is similar to the technology used for mobile phones and satellite TVs with the human brain being used as transmission and reception centers. And so not only has Uncle Sam been directing high-powered electromagnetic waves into people's brains in order to dangerously disrupt normal brain functioning and create abnormal thoughts and behaviors in people, these agents have also been using this technology to actually read people's minds. All of this is used to drive people into states of hysteria mimicking mental illness. The apparent goal of the, the United States government aside from pure sadism is to implement this modern-day torture into initiatives to work with the psychiatrists to gain 100% control of the thoughts, feelings, and actions of the public therefore completely dehumanizing the human experience in the USA and elsewhere. And when there are problems with some people who figure this out and fight back for a respect for the independence of their own thoughts, feelings, and actions that the United States government working with the American psychiatrists simply has them intentionally misdiagnosed as seriously mentally ill and intellectually compromised when in fact the victims of this tyranny are generally very intelligent and emotionally warm and stable people. As far as assertions by the, the United States government behind closed doors that all of this is nevertheless has been used by many foreign powers against their own citizens too, although that may be true, nevertheless that does not excuse the United States from hypocritically ignoring the dangerous and painful violations of human rights associated with such tyranny. Far more otherwise potentially healthy and productive American lives have been tragically wasted by this modern-day torture than have been alleged to have been wasted under the regimes of Saddam Hussein in Iraq and Colonel Gaddafi in Libya, and these abuses continue at this moment across the United States.